Welcome back to this Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. In this part we will explore Lavender Town and the Pokemon Tower. In the center of town is a house belonging to Mr. Fuji. He is a Pokemon caretaker but for the moment he is nowhere to be found. We will come back to Mr. Fuji's disappearance a little later. Near the sudden entrance to the town is the Name Rater. If you are dissatisfied with your Pokemon's nickname, then you can come here and change it free of charge. This is the Pokemon Tower. When talking to this channeler over here, you will learn that mysterious spirits are at work further up in the tower. These spirits are actually ghost type Pokemon. Be prepared for a rival battle on the second floor of the tower. Blue's team has gotten stronger since the last time, but his moveset still making him somewhat of a pushover. He sends out Pidgeotto as his first Pokemon. As of this stage, it will probably be a little concern to you. Whirlwind is merely a nuisance, as it will force your Pokemon to switch out. Hit it with a strong electric or rock type attack. Now he is sending out Growlithe, a new addition to his team. Note that Blue will never have two grass, fire or water types on him. His team will depend on his starter, so if he had chosen a Charmander, then he would have had a Gyarados instead of a Growlithe. Next out is his Execute, also a new team member. As of this point, it is somewhat weak. Send out something that is not weak to psychic type attacks, and you'll be fine. As for his War Turtle and Kadabra, just hit them with super effective or otherwise powerful attacks. If you have questions left unanswered, then you can post them in the comment section. Now onto the Pokemon available in the tower. Ghastly is a dual ghost poison type. It, along with its evolutions, is an excellent special attacker, but unfortunately ghost type moves are physical based as of generation 3, so you may not want to use just ghost type moves on them. Cubone is a ground type with decent attack and very good defense. The fact that it can learn some pretty good physical attacks makes it a very durable Pokemon. Its lack of speed is a small drawback though. The trainers in here are all channelers that have been possessed somehow. They only have ghost type Pokemon on their teams. Bring with you lots of awakenings because there is a strong possibility that you will be hit with hypnosis during your battles. Don't use normal or fighting type attacks against ghost types because they are immune against them. 
This goes both ways though, as normal types are immune against ghost type attacks. Use that to your advantage if you have a normal type with a varied movie set. If you manage to reach the 5th floor, you can enter a purified zone in the center of the floor. This will heal all your Pokémon up to full health. In this zone lies a cleanse tag. This can be held by one of your Pokémon and used as a repel if the holder is the first in the party and is at a higher level than the wild Pokémon.
When you try to go up the stairs to the seventh floor, a mysterious spirit will stop you and a battle will begin. You will find that your Pokémon are unable to attack the spirit, so you have no choice but to run away. This is also the same routine with all the wild encounters in the tower. To be able to unmask the spirits up here, we need to find a silk scope. We will do that in a while, but for now there's nothing else to do than to head out of the tower.